Hello, guys. How's it going? Uh, oh, good. Thank you. <laughs> great, How are you? Great. <laughs> good. We're so glad to have you with us today. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. So exciting. That's no problem. What do you think are the most bizarre aspects of your characters? You want to start? You ladies ladies bizarre. first. Yeah, uh, I've, got, I've got a few. You've so. got it. Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, for Luciana, what's bizarre about her? I think that she, she's been through a lot of changes. I mean, from where she started to where she is now. She's she's lost everything. She tried to gain it back, and and she's she can't survive a day in that ranch. I mean, she right. hang in there. To, I mean, for as long as she could. She the moment she was strong and she could go, she left. And it, it, it I don't know if it's bizarre, but I mean, she's just standing for her own, you know, values, and and she's it's all she's got. And if she's she's got to compromise the love of her life, well, might as well go. But uh, she's that kind of, uh, I don't think she ever thought she could do that. And, and it was hard for me to even play that part because it's, like, it's a huge decision. And you only want for him to follow me, but he doesn't. So it's, uh, I don't know if it's bizarre, but she just goes for it right. when she believes it's the right thing. Hmm. Daniel? Well, you know, like, I think the, the, <laughs> the, you know, you can name a lot of bizarre things, I think, about Troy. But I, I think what's Im important to me was that um, any of those bizarre behaviors that we consider, you know, socially unacceptable in in the old world, I think suddenly these bizarre behaviors that we would consider bizarre are um, are actually really needed and necessary in this world. And I think for all his bizarre behaviors, like his uh, obsession with certain things, is is like really his beha beha bizarre behavior is really about an ideological um, through line of, of wanting to understand things. Looking for something to take out the old man? First thing folks will grab, there's a run on the place. Good. I was worried you might do something rash. You know, all I've ever had in my, my whole life is this, this place and these people. And I don't know, it's just, I don't understand, you know, like, the world out there is soft. It's burned. Who would you love to have more screen time with on the show? Is there anyone from the past seasons you would have loved to work with or anyone in the current seasons who you don't get to work with enough? I would have loved to work with Travis a mm. lot more. I would have loved to work with him more because I just got to do the beginning. I would have loved to work with you a lot more. I thought mm. we would have more, yeah, more, more stuff to stuff do. To do. Um, yeah, Travis and Troy, just mm. because he's bizarre. <laughs> TNT, yeah. <laughs> Should be sleeping. How's your wound? Better. Thank you. For what? Waiting for me to heal. Before we leave? I'm sorry for Travis. He saved my life. What are you looking forward to fans. the fans seeing in part 3B the most? Oh, the fight for their beliefs. They, there are so many different perspectives of what they believe. Mm. And 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 it's interesting because you can't judge them. Mm -hmm. Like you can't judge, oh, why would you feel that way? No, you have every right to to fight for, for that yeah. because you lost it, because they hurt you, because they killed people that you love and, and you have every right. And then on the other side, the same thing happens. So to see that come together mm. and how they're gonna compromise everything they had in their past and it will be very exciting for people to see, like, because it goes down to human nature. Like, mm. how much are you willing to really compromise to move forward or mm. to become a team or to die? I mean, something is going to happen. Mm. So, Daniel? What was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> what are you most looking forward to fancy? Oh, about? yeah. I th you know, I think, like, what I'm really looking forward to is the fact that, um, you know, Troy has lost a, a huge amount in the first part of the season. He's lost... You know, he's losing people and, 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 and losing 
certain ideas that he has about the world and people. And I'm, I'm looking forward to fans seeing Troy like gaining things in the second half. Like, he, he, like it's not necessarily or the things that you would expect, you know? Like there are things that Troy gains in this back half that I, I think are really interesting. And I think I'm excited to, to watch that, I think just as as, a, as an actor uh, is watching a character that you have, make, have made so many assumptions about and watching that be kind of reversed in some way. I think that would be quite an interesting thing to watch. Lovely. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.